if it is minus 1 power 1, it is minus 1, right? And if it is minus 1 power 2, it is 1. So now I will write the formula x plus a whole power n is equal to n c 0. So now we have 7 terms. So you can substitute the value of 6 c 0. 6 c 0 is 1. 6 c 1 is. If it is x plus a power n means as it is easily we can apply the binomial expansion. Welcome back to my new session. I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty. So in my previous session, I have started binomial coefficient, right? It's a way of picking unordered list of elements, right? So today, I will explain some other important binomial expansion problems. So binomial coefficient problems. So what is the formula? Theorem, binomial theorem for positive integer power if n is a positive integer, x plus a power n. So n means it's a positive integer. So what is the expansion? n c 0 starts from initial value 0. n c 0 into x power. What is the difference of this? n minus 0 into a power 0 plus n c 1. And x power difference is n minus 1 a power 1 and n c 2 x power n minus 2 a power 2 plus up to n c n difference is n minus n into a power n. So this is the expansion formula in binomial coefficient. If you have two terms in expression it is binomial. And if you get the power value is n, the terms are n plus 1. If your power value is 4, you will get 4 plus 1, 5 terms. Here, power value is n, you will get n plus 1 terms. So, this is the basic things you have to understand in binomial coefficient. So, today I will explain the next important problems on binomial coefficient. So, you just observe this expression, we have root 3 plus root 2 power 6 minus root 3 minus root 2 power 6. So, actually here we have two terms, a minus b whole power n. This is in a form of a minus b whole power n because this term represents a and this term represents b. So, a minus b whole power n. So, two terms are here same but the negative symbol here, but here we have positive symbol, but we have only binomial expression. We have two terms. So, a minus b whole power n. So, here we are applying the same conditions, but we have negative symbol here. If we get negative symbol, if it is in a form of a minus b whole power n or a plus b whole power n, so easily you can apply the binomial coefficient formula. So now I will write the formula for x plus a power n and x minus a power n. Please follow this x plus a power n and x minus a power n. So here we have two terms. It is in a form of x plus a power n and this is in a form of x minus a power n. We have both positive and negative. If it is x plus a power n means as it is easily we can apply the binomial expansion. So, it is n c 0 x power n minus 0 into a power 0, right? And the second term n c 1 x power n minus 1 a power 1 plus n c 2 x power n minus 2 a power 2 up to n c n x power n minus n a power n. So, if you get negative value, sigma r equals 0 to n. So, minus 1 into n c r into x power n minus r into a power r. So, you have to use this method. Minus 1 into n c r x power n minus r into a power r. So, as it is we are using the same formula with minus 1 that is it for negative x minus a whole power n. So now you can expand this formula by using the given expression root 3 plus root 2 
minus root 3 minus root 2 whole power 6. Next step, I will apply the formula for root 3 plus root 2 whole power 6. Write the formula nc0 x power n minus 0 into a power 0 plus nc1 x power n minus 1 a power 1 x power n minus 2 a power 2 up to nc n x power n minus n a power n. Substitute the value of n and a. So, n means it is 6 and x is equal to root 3 and a is equal to root 2. Substitute the values. So, n means it is 6. 6 c 0 into x power. x means it is root 3 power 6 minus 0 into a means root 2 whole power 0 plus 6 c 1 into root 3 power 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1 into root 2 power 1 plus 6 c 2 root 3 power 6 minus 2 root 2 power 2 plus 6 c 3 root root 3 power 6 minus 3 into root 2 power 3 plus 6 c 4 root 3 power 6 minus 4 into root 2 power 4 up to 6 c 6 plus 6 c 5 x power x means root 3 power 6 minus 5 into it is root 2 power 5 and 6 c 6 root 3 power 6 minus 6 into root 2 power 6. So, this is the expression number 1. So, first you have to expand this expression and in the next step expand this root 3 minus root 2. So, now I will expand this root 3 minus root 2 power 6. So, as it is you can expand the formula by using equation number 1 6 c 0 with minus 1 root 3 power 6 into root 2 power 0 plus 6 c 1 into minus 1 root 3 power 5 into root 2 power 1 plus 6 c 6 into minus 1 root 3 power 6 minus 2 into root 2 power 2 plus 6 c this is 6 c 2 6 c 3 into minus 1 root 3 power 6 minus 3 into root 2 power 3 plus 6 c 4 into minus 1 root 3 power 6 minus 4 it is 2 into root 2 power 4 plus 6 c 5 minus 1 into root 3 power 6 minus 5 it is 1 to root 2 power 5 plus 6 c 6 minus 1 root 3 power 6 minus 6 it is 0 and root 2 power 6. So, this is equation number 2. So, first write all the equation number 1 and equation number 2. Please expand this properly. If it is positive, positive mean both are positive means as it is you can apply binomial expansion theorem. Here x value is positive, a value is negative. So, you have to write the formula with minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, etc. So, this is the equation number 1 and this is the equation number 2. Now, you can do the cancellation. So, now you can observe this equation number 2. If it is minus 1 power 1, it is minus 1, right? And if it is minus 1 power 2, it is 1. Minus 1 power 3, it is minus 1. Minus 1 power 4 is 1. And minus 1 power 5 is equal to minus 1. If your power value is even, you will get positive value. If your power value is negative, you will get negative value. So, for my 1, it is minus 1. Power value is 3, it is minus 1. Power value is 5, it is minus 1. So, 
power value is 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. The value is positive. The power value is 1, 3, 5. The value will be negative, right? So by using this equation number 2, we can observe that the term 2, 4 and 6 will be positive. So both the terms are positive. If you are multiplying with minus 1, you will get the negative value, right? So second term, fourth term and sixth term. You can observe this equation number 1 and 2. So second term, fourth term, sixth term will be positive and first term, third term and fifth term will be negative, right? So again, I'll expand this. So 2, 4, 6, second term, fourth term, sixth term is positive, but you are using this odd numbers. So 1 plus 1, you'll get positive and the second odd number, 3 plus 1, it is 4, but 4 is positive. And if you are using 5 plus 1, you will get positive value. So now you can use this first term, third term and fifth term. First term, third term and fifth term will be negative. And second term, fourth term and sixth term will be positive, right? When I subtract from equation number 2 from 1, you will get the final answer. Subtract from 2 from 1, you will get the final answer. Very important question paper problem, 4a plus 3b power 4. So here n value is 4, you will get n plus 1 term and x value is equal to 4a and a value is equal to 3b. So now I will write the formula x plus a whole power n is equal to n c 0 x power n minus 0 into a power 0 and n c 1 x power n minus 1 a power 1 plus n c 2 x power n minus 2 a power 2 plus n c 3 x power n minus 3 a power 3 up to n c n x power n minus n into a power n. So now I will substitute the values. This is 4a plus 3b power 4. So n value is 4, 4c 0 into x value means x value is 4a, 4a power 4 minus 0. a value is 3 into b power 0, 3 into b power 0. And again 4c 1, please write it carefully. If you are missing one term also, you will not get the answer. 4c1 into x value is 4a power n value is 4 minus 1 into a value is 3b power 1 plus 4c2 into x means 4a power 4 minus 2 into 3b power 2 plus 4c3 into 4a power 4 minus 3 into 3b power 3 plus 4c3 into 4a power 4 minus 4 into 3b power 4. So now you can find out the values. So 4c0, so you can find Pascal theorem value is 1, 1, 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, again I will write the same thing, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, 1 and 1, 3 plus 1 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, 1 and 1. So you can use 1, 4, 6, 4, 1 in place of 4, 0, 1, 4, 0, 2, 4, 0, 3, etc. 1, 4a power 4 minus 0, 4 minus 0 is 4. 4a power 4 into 3b power 0 is 1 plus 4c1 means it is 4 into 4a power 3 into 3b plus and 4c2 means it is 6 
again 4a power 4 minus 2 is 2 into 3b power 2 plus 4c3 means it is 4, 4a power 1 into 3b power 3. Next 4c4, this is 4c4, 4c4 means 1 into 4a power 0 into 3b power 4. So now you can simplify this, please simplify and find out the value. So this is called as binomial expansion. So it is 7 marks question, please practice the questions properly. It is 7 marks question, every step you have to explain in exams, clear? So this is about your binomial coefficient. And the next problem, x plus a power n, this is in a form of x plus a power n. So x value is equal to 3 a value is 2 and n value is 6. So now I will expand this expression 3 plus 2 whole power 6 is equal to 6 c 0 because n value is 6 and x value is 3 power 6 minus 0 to 6 into 2 power 0. 2 power 0 is 1 plus 6 c 1 3 power 6 minus 1 into 2 power 1 plus 6 c 2 plus 3 power 6 minus 2 into 2 power 2 plus 6 c 3. This is not plus 6 c 3. 3 power 6 minus 3 into 2 power 3 plus 6 c 4. 3 power 6 minus 4 into 2 power 4 plus 6c5, 3 power 6 minus 5 into 2 power 5, plus 6c6, 3 power 6 minus 6 into 2 power 6. Simplify this. So now again I will apply the Pascal's theorem. Index value is 0, coefficient is 1, 1, 1, 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3. So again as it is I will write. So this is for 0, this is for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So now 1 plus 3, 3 plus 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, 1. 4 plus 1 is 5, 10. 10, 4 plus 1, 5, 1. So here 1. Now 5 plus 1 is 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1 and 1. So the coefficient values are 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6 and 1. So now we have 7 terms. So you can substitute the value of 6C0. 6C0 is 1, 6C1 is 6, 6C2. 15, 6 c 3, 20 and 6 c 4, it is 15, 65, it is 6 and 1. So now you can simplify the expression 3 power 6, find the value of 3 power 6 and 3 power 5, 3 power 4, 3 power 3, 3 power 2 and 3 power 4. 1. So easily you can find the exponential value. So this is your assignment question. Please practice this. So today I have explained the question paper problems on binomial theorem. Please practice this question. So definitely there will be a problem on binomial coefficient. So with this, so already have completed three units in discrete transformation. So please practice every unit. So in my next session, I will come with a new concept and fourth unit in discrete transformation graph theory. Thank you.